I'll be calling you a radical, a liberal. Hi, Kevin Blanche. I gotta put this video up because I can't stand listening anymore about the drugs. If you guys don't see my videos for a while, you know where I'm at. I gotta go back in the hospital for some time, so stay with me. But I cannot stand it anymore. I sat in this morning on an MBA class that used to be one of the top MBA programs in the United States that I used to teach at. Now I know why I resigned and quit. Well, these are students that are ready to graduate on an MBA program. And we start talking about derivatives. It was obvious to me, none of these students, none of them, verbatim, one over, you know, these guys, um, I, I was so disgusted with the professor, with them, they don't know what a derivative is, and it's obvious that the country doesn't. The so-called financial experts don't. If I have to hear one more so-called alternative media finance expert, or freaking cable, Ali Vischer, what a moron, these guys over and over and over, these derivatives brought down the subprime package, they cut it is such a lie. It is such a fallacy. It is a lie. Let's review. I'm going to help you guys out. I'm going to help you guys out with a derivative and how the financial nightmare collapse of 2008 had not one thing to do with the derivative. Nothing. Zero. Zero. I'm so sick of hearing it. It is just a word just like hedge fund was through the 2000. Oh, we threw out the word hedge fund. Ooh, you must be smart. Here's our money. Well, none of these were hedge funds. I've been in the hedge fund industry for years and years and years. I've had my own hedge fund is hedging. Hedging. None of these guys were hedging. Now it's the word derivative. Oh, I'm an alternative financial. Oh, these derivatives, you know, and these banksters. Yeah, they're banksters. Was it derivative? No. Okay, let me start from scratch. Okay, Alan Greenspan and his science fiction economics, which that one's mine. Don't try stealing it. Okay, and these packaged mortgages. As they were lowering the rate when it should have been raising. It created a housing bubble. It is really that simple. It is really, it started an inflation out bubble. They raised, or excuse me, lowered rates when they should have been raising rates. Cause hyperinflation in 01, 02, 03, 04. Where did it hit the hardest? In the housing market. Okay, on way a perfect storm, deregulated. Banks were allowed to do what we call off balance sheet accounting. Now you think about, you want to talk about here, Commit fraud all you want. I'm an ex-semiconductor analyst. As an analyst, how can you possibly pour over data when they have off-balance? All that was was a license to steal. That happened in the late, 19, you know, 1996, 7, 8, 9, 9, two, through the early 2000s. The deregulation of these guys. Let these wolves go to work. Okay, so here we started creating this subprime package. Where was the fraud committed? Where was the fraud? The local level signing is where it was most blatant. You had every swing and dick, punk ass asshole, no nothing moron, went into the mortgage broker business. They were crooks, big time crooks, signing back ends paper. They're friends, the appraisal process becomes so corrupt. And none of these appraisers are in jail, it kills me on the local level. None of these guys, the guy, two of these guys were some of the biggest fraudsters in the country, right here are mayors in Utah right here. I freaking know that, I know that I could put those guys away for freaking life if the feds would do anything about it, but they won't. There's your criminals. Okay, so they started doing these packages. So we started bubbling up every... I, I had no idea. I didn't do it. I didn't realize that the entire country ran right in and refinanced their house. Everybody was doing it. I, I'm still blown away at the people who did do this. And, you know, then we had some morons who were out there. Prime America, all these different companies say, oh, mortgage your house, put it in the mortgage, in the market with here's your fake appraisal. So these things started bubbling up and bubbling it up and bubbling. Okay, when this collapsed, when this collapsed, you hear it all the time. These guys were selling packages of mortgages. Subprime mortgage packages were trading back and forth. Yes, yes, absolutely. Are they a derivative? No, no. What is a derivative? Derivative. A future contract, an option on an equity, okay, a credit default swap. It is separate. It is abstract. What brought down the market? The collapse of the actual packages themselves. Okay, let's be clear. With Goldman Sachs, are they crooks? Are Bank of America crooks? Is they Fuck yes! Fuck yes! Would they exist if it wasn't for the government bailout? Fuck no! They were done! They were done! You think Harvard freaking MBAs are so smart, Princeton MBAs are so smart, but Harvard lost 50, 60, 70 percent of their endowment in this. But it was not, had nothing to do with the derivative. Nothing! 
Was there a derivative market? Credit default swaps that were written out? Hell yes! Yes, just like options on equities, just like future contracts on the actual wheat, sugar, corn, gasoline, whatever. They are abstract. They have nothing to do with the direct equity, the commodity, the asset itself. So we had these huge bubble packages. They're trading. Okay, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, all these big companies, they were in up to here, just like the American public. They fell for the Allen Grant span, fairy tale. They overlook, were looking their eyes on those fucking wars and not paying attention to hyperinflation. I talked to an actuary in Manhattan in 2007. Oh, all right, we haven't even seen inflation yet. I'm like, where the fuck have you been? Where the fuck have you guys been? Hyperinflation happened in 02, 03, 04, 05, 06. But Goldman Sachs, AIG, which is the insurance industry, they are the culprits. They are the ones who did this. AIG is who did this. Okay, the insurance industry who's did this. Okay, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Okay, they started trading in these things. Why? Because they were making huge credit spreads. They're getting to the Fed window at 1%. They're borrowing at 16 70%, packaging these loans, selling them all over Europe, selling them all over country. Everybody fell for it. Every, including Goldman Sachs, including Baker, these so-called smart guys. <laughs> what a fucking joke. I hedged three different people's portfolios. I saved several people in here, multi, multi millions by hedging because I saw the writing on the wall when I seen Merrill Lynch go down. Look, so, okay, this thing implodes. These mortgages start to tumble and freaking equity values start to tumble and they start to fall. These guys had bought the derivative, a put. They're called a put. On the downside. Were they transparent? No. Okay, they weren't transparent because they had just put those together. They hadn't been around that very good. And it makes no fucking difference if they were transparent or fucking not. The bottom line is this. Did the derivative itself have anything to do with the collapse? No. Hell no. Absolutely not. Did the packages of the subprime mortgages that were being traded all over the world blown up so big? Did they have everything? Yes. Yes, they're real assets. They collapse. Okay, the banks, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, they bought the insurance policy underneath. That's what hedge funds do. That's what a derivative is. They're called puts. They bought the downside. They wash out. They work on 100 times increments. Were they covered? Yes, they were covered. But here's the problem. We had deregulated companies like AIG and Bank and let them get into everything. Nobody was watching the store. They had written so many of these derivatives. They didn't have any. They had no intention of covering and paying. It was like a bad bookie. So when it washed out, AIG says, fuck you, we ain't paying. Which AIG is the evil step cousin of Goldman Sachs. Okay, if it washes out, boom. So here we go into panic mode. The whole economy, everybody's got their mortgage up there. It's collapsing. It's falling apart. Nothing to do with the derivative. Absolutely nothing to do with derivatives. Nothing to do with the derivative. It was a subprime package, but it was the assets themselves. It was Alan Greenspan raised, lowering rates when he should have been raising freaking rates. Mortgage brokers forging the paper. Appraisers giving false appraisers. Obama gets in. Did he go after any of them? And the Obama just no. They're just as bad as the Bush Justice Department. There is much to blame. There is no accountability. They didn't go after any. So they go into the Senate behind closed doors. There's a hundred senators. Ninety-nine of the one hundred senators are multimillionaires. The only one is not, is not is Joe Biden. Okay, they go in. Who manages their money? Sachs. Sachs is affiliated with AIG. AIG is the insurance industry. They wrote all these freaking derivatives. They didn't cover. They're the ones that burned Sachs themselves. They burned AIG, or excuse me, Bank of America. They burned Wells Fargo. But where was the mistake? The banks? Because they fucking hook, line, and sinker, just like the asshole who bought a house for 200000 mortgage at four fifty, and now he's sitting there, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, what do I do? Because it was easy money. They fell for it. They are not the smartest guys in the room. It is bullshit. It is total bullshit when I hear that. Oh, Sachs, these guys, these bonuses are the smart. They got rewarded for failure, yes. Why? Because the senators bailed them out. They walked into the back room and they said, look, we're good. We're done. We're done. Sachs was done. Honestly, for real, they were done. Over, wiped out, broke, busted. Yes. Well, for all these guys, Jamie Dimon, those pieces of shit were done. They walked in because they went all in. They made a mega death blow mistake in their finance. They're supposed to be so smart. They're dumb fuckers. Okay, they go in back room and they says, look, they looked at the senators right in the eyes. You know we manage all your money. All those senators, I mean, that's who has it. 
Sachs manages all those people's money for the most part. You know, two, you got five million, you don't just go put it in the bank. You have a five. Who's supposed to be the best Sachs? So they look at them. We go down, you go down. Where do we sign? So they signed up. That's who did this. The United States Senate is who did this. They're the ones that bailed these fuckers out and rewarded them for failure. Jamie Dian is a moron. Lloyd Blankfield is a fucking moron. Ken Lewis is a fucking moron. The guys from Goldman Sachs are fucking morons. They are morons. They rewarded themselves for performance. And I hear this theory all the time. Oh, if every dollar was redistributed in the world, the same guys that have it now would have it back. That is a fucking lie. That is a lie. It is not performance oriented. It is cheating. It is lying. That is the problem. It had nothing to do with derivatives. Not one thing. These fuckers don't even know what a derivative is. The subprime package mortgages themselves brought this down. That's what brought this down. Alan Greenspan and the 1% interest rate when it should have been probably 7, 8, 9, 10. Maybe 12% with the hyperinflation, like Volcker raised it up. The subprime package, the local broker, the local appraiser, the banksters, the crooks, fucking crooks, the 100 crooked fucking senators who gave these fuckers the money. Sacks should be done. They should not even exist. Guys like Blankfeld should be in the street dead fucking broke because they made fucking mega, mega fucking mistakes. The insurance rate AIG, that's who fucked everybody, had nothing to do with a derivative. You fucks don't even know what a derivative is. The derivative is abstract. The derivative had nothing to do with the meltdown. The distribution of these packages all over Europe and Greece, whatever, the freaking calls by the credit scoring agencies. Nothing to do with the derivative. Absolutely nothing. Zero. I'm tired of fucking hearing it. Kevin Blanche.